Hey everyone, this is a hike to the Wisdom Tree, which is right there. It's right in the middle of Hollywood. I do a lot of guided hikes here. It's a often requested hike, so I'm making a guide for it so you can do it yourself. It's not a tough hike. It's, it's steep, but it is right in the middle of Hollywood in Griffith Park. It's beautiful. It's sort of an oasis away from the madness very close to you. And uh, there's a couple options. You can just go right up to the tree and back, and it's about two miles. You can make it a nice three mile loop that doesn't have a steep descent. Um, and you can also add on a little side trip, which adds less than a mile to uh, Kahanga Peak, which is the highest point in Griffith Park, and also to Mount Lee, where you'll see the Hollywood sign. So a lot of, uh, a lot of good things to see on this hike, and it's a beautiful trail, again, right here in the middle of Hollywood. Now, if you wanna do this, just go to hikingguy.com, where I have all of the maps, directions, parking information, everything you need to know. But otherwise, here are the turn-by-turn -turn directions. So let's talk about parking first. Uh, you don't want to park at the trailhead. You want to park on Lake Hollywood Drive, which is right there, that hill. And if you go to the website, I have all the information on parking for you. And then you just walk up the uh, Wonder View Drive here, this little paved section, which is a private neighborhood, so please be respectful of the people here. And uh, just keep walking up straight. And as you go up here, you're going to see Burbank Peak in the distance. That's where we're going. That's where the wisdom tree is. It's the lone tree on top of that peak. And when you come to the gate, you just go around the gate here. You can get some nice views into downtown Los Angeles down to your right. Uh, the views on this hike are nonstop um, pretty much the whole way, so you're in for a treat. We're going to keep going straight up here. Pretty soon you're going to come to a wide open area. And the trail is sort of on the right-hand side of this open area over here. And there's a little trail sign. You're actually in Griffith Park. This is a newer part of Griffith Park that was here since 2010. They wanted to build luxury homes here, but a bunch of people saved it. And when you start the trail here, there's a plaque on the right-hand side that lists their names. You can check that out, and then you start heading up the trail. Now, the trail is pretty steep. Um, you don't have to go fast. You can take your time. There's a lot of views. It's steep, it's rocky, but it's definitely doable, and it's not that long. It's less than a mile to get to the top, so doable by all kinds of people. After the first rocky section, it turns into a more of a dirt trail that's a little bit easier to navigate than the rocks. And soon there's a big um, kind of switchback here. We're going to take the switchback around to the left for this last little section. Now when you're coming down, if you just go to the wisdom tree and come back, you know you have to take your time going down this descent. It's easy to slip, so just take your time. Um, or you can do the optional hikes that I'll show you in a second. But as you go up here, you can see Lake Hollywood or Hollywood Reservoir down in the distance. And after a little steep section here, you're going to come up to this trail sign. And we're going to make the left here, which will bring us to the Wisdom Tree area. And you can see the Wisdom Tree in the distance there. There was a fire here in 2007, and the Wisdom Tree was the only thing left standing, which is one of the reasons why it's so cool. Off to the right, views into the valley, the San Fernando Valley, the mountains off to the left. You can see down to downtown LA, Catalina on a clear day. And just come on up here and check out the tree. There's a um, book there with words of wisdom. There's an American flag. I tell you all about the tree and everything on the website. So you can just go there and check it out. And if you just wanna go back to the bottom, you just go back down the way you came but you can also go to the highest peak, uh, Kahanga Peak in Griffith Park and the Hollywood sign and then come back on a loop. So I'll show you that, which will go over there. So again, if you just want to go back down, you can just go back down the way you came. But otherwise, I'll show you the Hollywood sign part and the loop back, which goes down that way. So from the tree, you're just going to keep going straight down the trail here. And when you get back to that junction sign here that we saw before, you're going to go straight on the Eileen Getty Ridge Trail. And Eileen Getty was one of the people who raised the money to buy this property back from the developers and turn it into a part of Griffith Park. So you're just gonna keep going straight here. It's a primitive trail, but it's easy to follow. There's a little trail heading off to the left there. We're gonna avoid that. You can see the mountains, Mount Wilson in the distance there. There's a really uh, great views along this ridge line. You can also see how the trail splits apart. There's some sections where it shortly splits apart, comes back together, uh, nothing too confusing. And when you come to the second junction for a trail on the left, this is the one you're gonna go back down if you wanna do the loop trail. But otherwise, we're gonna head up on Cuenca Peak. So when you come back 
This is the one to come back and go down to do the loop trail down to the valley overlook. But otherwise, we're going to keep heading straight up to Kanga Peak. Now, Kanga Peak is the highest point in Griffith Park. I think it's 1,821 feet, which is pretty high considering you're pretty close to the ocean here. When you get up to the peak, there's a little rock cairn here. There's some uh, USGS geological markers and obviously great, great views. These mountains have great prominence and they sort of overlook um, Los Angeles and also the valley. So enjoy the views, soak it all in. Then to go to the Hollywood sign in Mount Lee, we're going to keep going straight here. There you can see Mount Wilson, Inspiration Point, Echo Mountain in the distance, all great hikes, and I have those on the website as well. But keep going straight. Now this little section is very beautiful, um, but it's also a little more dynamic. You can see you're going through some trees here. There's never a point where you lose the trail or it's dangerous or any way, but there's definitely some up and downs. You know, you might have to use your hands a little bit on some of the rocks to climb around, but it's beautiful. This might be my favorite part um, of the park around here. And once you get through this little section, you'll be able to see the trail sort of unfold in front of you, and you're going to be going over those um, ridges right there. And it's going to be some up and down, like I said. You can see Mount Lee, which is the mountain with the tower in the distance, but we're going to go on the trail along those ridges. And there's a, a section that's a little bit narrow, and if you're watching in the 360 video, you can scroll down and see how close you are. But it's nothing dangerous, nothing I would personally risk my life with. It's, it's all pretty safe. And you keep going straight here, and eventually you're going to come out to um, Mount Lee Drive, which is the paved road we're going to take up to the Hollywood sign. And if you have done the Hollywood sign hike before, you might uh, recognize this. But we're going to go right here. And we're going to go up this little paved section until we get to the series of antennas here. And we're not going to go in there because we will be irradiated. So instead, we're going to head off to the left here and go up this little secret trail to the actual summit of Mount Lee, which is right here. And after this little climb, you're going to have this little summit area where, again, you're going to get beautiful, beautiful views, 360 views of all of Los Angeles. And of course, you're going to be able to see the back of the Hollywood sign there's Lake Hollywood in the distance, and there's the Hollywood sign beneath you. Um, check it out. It's a good place to take a photo of L.A. with Hollywood in the foreground. Now, when you're done here, you can either go back the way you came from Wisdom Tree, or you can go back on the Loop Trail. So I'm going to pick these directions up, going back the way we just came, but getting on the Loop Trail, which is right here. Now, this section of the trail is pretty steep. It's pretty rocky. It'll help if you have trekking poles. I didn't have them here, which is why I'm bouncing around a little bit. Um, but, you know, just take your time. The trail is easy to follow. It's never hard to find or anything. And there are several of these little overlook plateaus here where you're going to get really beautiful sweeping views from there's the wisdom tree that we were at from there all the way into Burbank, Burbank Airport all those movie studios that are there, you'll be able to see. There's really um, some incredible views on this section. So soak it all in, take your time on the descent. Here's the last little plateau, which is the Valley Overlook. On the right, you're gonna be able to see um, Forest Lawn Cemetery. Those white buildings in front of you are Warner Brothers Studios. There's the Wisdom Tree. And keep on heading straight and down. And eventually you're going to come to the section here where you can see evidence of the fire that um, burnt all of this area except for the wisdom tree and you're going to go through these burned sections just be careful if you see any life please don't step on the grass and just keep on going forward and eventually you're going to come down to the next junction here now at this junction it's a, a wider road so you'll feel good to get on a regular trail trail again and not have to kind of scramble down the other trail but we're going to make the hard left and it's just a gradual uh, climb back up to the trailhead where we started. So we're going to go up here. And there's some really beautiful parts here as it goes up along the valley. Really quiet. Nice place to see hawks and different animals. And we're just going to keep climbing up here. And eventually the trail will wind away from the valley here. And it goes through a little section by the power lines. Again, you can see it's super easy to, to follow. It's a well-worn path. There's a lot of people here. And eventually you'll come out to this gate and you just go around the gate and you'll be in this big wide open area that was at the end of the paved um, Wonder View 
drive. And from here, you just go back down the paved section, back to your car, and that's the hike. So that's the hike. It's a fun one, lots of different options, lots to see. And again, very convenient to Los Angeles, Hollywood. If you're staying here, if you're visiting, if you just wanna get a hike in away from the crowds, this is a great option. Now, if you're on YouTube, if you could do me a big fave, big fave of fave, hit that little thumbs up button. That helps other people find the video and hopefully do the hike safely. And also make sure you click on the link in the description, which will bring you to the full guide for the hike, which has maps and parking info and everything you need to know to do the hike. And uh, yeah, give it a try, even if you're a hardcore hiker. I know it's not a big mountain climb, but it is a fun little hike right here in the middle of Hollywood. So I will see you guys out there.